Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Madam Soul Food. Today I'm making pompano fish. Fried pompano fish. Yes, they're based from Florida. They're saltwater fish. Yes. They have bone in the middle. There's no gill on these fish. So I'm just frying them up just to see what these fish is all about. We got some accent salt. Season to your taste. There's no recipe for this. This is my first time frying pompano fish. So I'm going to liberally, you know, sprinkle some accent salt onto each filet of fish. Look how beautiful they look. My um, fish marker, they scored it, cleaned it, and split them. So they are split, scored, and filleted. Thank you so much for Fine Fair Market. So now I'm going to add more ingredients to my fish. We have some cayenne pepper. And once I liberally sprinkle the cayenne pepper, I'm going to rub it on my fish very gently. Yes, I'm using gloves today. I'm going to continue to lose gloves because, you know, we got the monkey pie. What is it called? The monkey pox and... COVID and Amara crying. We got all kinds of things going on today, y'all. So I got to wear my gloves, right? To protect me and you. So, see that fish right there? It's already scored. We're going to keep adding the cayenne pepper. We're going to rub it in just to make sure it's well seasoned. We're not rubbing too much on the fish. Just a couple of dashes just to give it a nice, plentiful zang to the taste. So after we add the um, um, seasoning, this um, cayenne pepper, I'm going to show you what else we add. The pompano fish is a known family member of jack mackerel. So it's a shiny fish. It has a shiny backside. Here's some black pepper. We're going to add some black pepper to it. Give it some more seasoning. But yeah, the um, the pompano fish is a shiny fish like the jack mackerel. Um, it's easy to lose its um, seasoning uh, or the, um, the uh, breading. So you can add a one yolk, one egg yolk to it to make sure that it, you know, clings on to the fish. But you don't want your fish to be too wet. It's got to be dry. The fish got to be dry with some egg yolk. Even with the um, mustard, you want to add some vegetable oil just to make sure that the seasoning doesn't become too dry. Because if it comes too dry, the breading will separate from the fish. So here's our yellow mustard. You got to make sure your oil is super hot. Once you add this yellow mustard, it's going to dry your fish out. And if you don't have no vegetable oil on it, it's going to separate your fish from your breading. So it's, it's an equal opportunity type of situation. Your mustard has to be oiled with some vegetable oil, even if it's only a tablespoon. Mix a tablespoon of vegetable oil with your yellow mustard, just so that your yellow mustard does not dry out your fish okay and look how beautiful it looks we're gonna rub that yellow mustard into our fish i'm gonna rub it in gently into each fish i don't generally use yellow mustard all the time in my fish but today i'm using it because i want to make it a country style fried fish but I don't always use yellow mustard. It's not my first favorite. It's not my first must-have, okay? My first must-have is just salt and pepper with Zatarain's fish fry or Zatarain's southern fish fry. That's my favorite go-to. But I'm going to use this just to be extra different. We got our Zatarain shrimp and boil oil. You can add a little shrimp boil oil to your fish to give it a little extra flavor and taste. Right? 
There's nothing wrong with a little extra flavor and taste. So I'm going to add what? Zatarain's, you know, crab and shrimp ball ball flavor, right? Just a teeny bit. And now we're going to add some badia, uh, badia, pink salt seasoning, right? It's just like Lari's. It's no different. The only difference is, I say it's no different. There's a difference is this seasoning has more of a celery seasoning taste to it and onion taste. So it tastes a little bit better than Laurie's. Yes, it do. Sorry, Laurie's, but Badia's pink Himalayan seasoned salt tastes just a little bit better than Laurie's. All right? And it gives it a real quick pick-me-up. All right? It does have a little extra zwang bang to it. Yes, I said it. It's got a little extra zwang bang to it. Like, share, and comment. Right? Hit me up. Be notified. I'm Madam Soul Food. Welcome to my channel. Now we're going to warp speed right here like Star Trek. We're going to add um, some fine cornmeal. We're going to add some... Uh, King Arthur's breaded flour, just a little bit. I didn't have no more Zatarain's fish fry. I would have mixed the Zatarain fish fry with the Zatarain southern fish fry and the Cajun fish fry, but I didn't have none of that. So I'm going old school style right here. I added Goya fine cornmeal with King Arthur's. Bread flour with some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to drop my fish in that. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Baby, I'm going to shake it up. Put it in the pan. We're going to repeat the process.